Hello, my name is Dr. Nachum Lanovsky. I'm a senior scientist uh, at the Department of Neurobiology of the Weizmann Institute of Science. And we study in my lab uh, brain areas that are very crucial for memory in general and spatial memory in particular. Uh, these areas are called the hippocampus and uh, entorhinal cortex. And if those areas are uh, damaged in people, then those patients uh, cannot remember pretty much anything new, cannot learn new things. So we really want to understand uh, this neural basis of memory. And we do this uh, in somewhat unusual animals, in bats. We are the only lab in the world that studies uh, these brain areas in bats. The reasons are that there are some things that you can do with, in bats uh, that you cannot in standard animal models like uh, rats or mice. So for example, you can ask how is three-dimensional space uh, remembered or represented in the brain. Uh, to answer this uh, question, uh, people have tried uh, already to do that. They've sent rats to space aboard a NASA space shuttle, uh, but that uh, experiment did not uh, give conclusive questions. So what we did instead is uh, we had the Weizmann Institute has built a really nice uh, uh, flight room, very large flight room, a unique facility uh, in the world. And uh, this allowed us, uh, together with a spatial uh, wireless neural recording device that we have developed, it allowed us to re record for the first time uh, from individual single neurons, nerve cells in the brain of bats during flight. And what we showed is that uh, in the hippocampus, individual cells uh, are active when animals go through a certain region of space, a certain three-dimensional region of space. It's kind of a sphere. These were the first ever recordings in a flying animal. This was a very uh, uh, challenging technological development. And uh, this uh, result was published uh, a few months ago in, in Science magazine. Some other directions that we've taken is uh, uh, to ask how uh, animals navigate in the wild. You cannot take a laboratory rat or mouse and let it run in the wild. Just, just They just will not survive there. Uh, so instead we took uh, bats, which are wild animals, and we uh, equipped them with the tiny GPS data logger, the smallest GPS device uh, in the world. And uh, this GPS tracked their, uh, their navigation in the, in the wild. And what we found is that they navigate really long distances, tens of kilometers, going to the same individual tree night after night, returning to the same tree again and again. So they had really fantastic navigational abilities. And this was published uh, recently in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences of the USA. And we've also done some studies on the uh, sonar of bats, or the so-called echolocation, uh, how they steer their echolocation beam in space, a study that was published three years ago and also in Science Magazine. Again, I want to stress that this is not just stamp collection. We don't, don't just study in another animal just to understand uh, the bats per se, but on the contrary, we ask questions that are very fundamental in brain research uh, but are difficult to answer in standard animal models like rats, mice, or humans. And we use the spatial properties and behaviors of the bats in order to answer those very fundamental questions. Thank you.